name is Puzzle, and welcome to Mass Effect Andromeda Gameplay Reaction! Woo! I love Mass Effect. I'm sorry, I whispered that. I love Mass Effect. I love Mass Effect so much. It, like... I don't even know how to do justice to it. Like, I spent so much time playing Mass Effect. In fact, I have something that will tell me how much time I've played on Mass Effect. 85 hours in Mass Effect 1. <laughs> That's how many hours Steam has me logged. And I know I played it through once when I wasn't online because it was the only game I had installed when my internet was down. So, I have played a lot of Mass Effect 1. I wonder, does Origin log your uh, your hours for, for games? Let's see. Aha! It does! It does! Well, it does ever since Origin was a thing. I don't... I don't know. Was Origin... Has Origin been a thing ever since Mass Effect 2? I can't remember. Anyway, according to Origin, I have played 37 hours in Mass Effect 2 and 86 hours in Mass Effect 3. I'm sure that that's a really big number when, once, once you do the math. And Mass Effect is the only game ever where I have bought apparel. Oh wait, let's see. Ugh. Yeah, it's the only thing I have. I don't really buy merch because I'm like, poor and merch is always so expensive. Needless to say, my fandom is just a little bit rampant, but that makes me really, really excited about Andromeda. Mostly excited about Andromeda. Okay, I need to preface this that I am a little bit worried about Andromeda because people seem to be dropping from the team like flies. Like, it is kind of a nightmare. It seemed for a time like Every couple of months, somebody would leave the Andromeda team, and Casey Hudson is gone, and he's like the really sweet writer that, well, I thought he was one of the best writers, personally. Like, the, the characters and the plot lines that he was involved with were my favorite ones. So the fact that he's gone has me really apprehensive. <laughs> and of course, there's that whole, the whole debacle, and I'm not gonna get into it at length, especially if you are not really aware of Mass Effect, but there was a huge controversy with the end of Mass Effect 3, and that is also enough to cause a little bit of concern about the next game. <laughs> but I've tried to stay, like, I've tried to, I've walked by the hype train. Like, I'm not on the hype train, but I'm casually observing it, if that's, if that's a good analogy to make. So I'm, I'm kind of uh, optimistic, but not really expecting very much. I think that's the best way for me to put it. So, all I've seen is the teaser trailer, the one that was like Western music to call. When was that released? I don't even know. It was a while ago. So, so this will be the second Mass Effect Andromeda trailer that I've seen, and of course this one has gameplay, and I will link it down in the description for you guys. But let's let's see this business. Let's let's see what it's all about. I'm really excited. I'm so excited. I'm currently trying to decide if I should put my headphones on over my hat and have two pairs of ears, or just take my hat off. I don't know. Mass Effect Andromeda is the next generation of action RPG. Is it? Yeah. No way this is home. Whoa! Brand new epic sci-fi adventure set in a vast explorable galaxy. Whoa! You are the Pathfinder, Ooh. part explorer, part soldier, part guide. And it's your mission to find a new home for humanity. Wait, so how do you travel without the Mass Effect uh, But in Andromeda, drive? resources are scarce. Worlds are hazardous or outright uninhabitable. Oh. Every planet has its own story. Is that On a black this hole? World, warring outlaw factions fight over every available scrap. That you was can make new allies or enemies. The choice is yours. Not too shabby for folk who got kicked off the station with nothing to show for it. Ooh. All I see is the trail of bodies they left behind. The cool! Sam. Those Tell are the races we love. Kelly. Before joining the initiative as head of Nexus Security, Miss Kelly served in the Alliance with a nearly spotless record. Wait, who's blue? That's a different race. Altercations with other this officers. 
A hot head. Great. Oh. What brings a pathfinder to our humble port? Van Terev. Name ring any bells? What's he to you? And don't lie to me. Ah! It's Just all the same! Just you're holding him and there won't be any trouble. There won't be. This is very reminiscent of Mass Effect 2. Drop it! Now! You first! Get out. Or I'll put you down. Looks like they These use... These worlds are big, so oh. for the sake of time, we're gonna speed up our adventure. Looks like they use the same engine and, like, on face this planet, and you'll molding that uh, Dragon Age 3 used. Whether it's a six-wheel drive nomad, which protects you from hazards and enemies... I hope that they fix the, the makeup. ...or the scanning and analysis tools <laughs> to help you interpret everything you discover. Oh, whoa! So what, are you like Batman now? To the killer. <gasps> the tracks make it look like an ambush. You're... It fits the Rokar profile. It's a start. Oh, that's cool. You're blood. like Batman. Matches your Rokar theory, Reyes. Keep scanning. That's very much like um, Arkham Asylum. In you a do dangerous that. alien galaxy desperate for resources, conflict is inevitable. But you'll have access to futuristic weapons, gear, and powers to help you in your fight for a new home. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, wait, whoa, okay, whoa. And somebody over there is raging. <laughs> oh, it's sweet. Oh, they're critters. I see, they're like big lizard things. What? <laughs> what engine is this? Oh my gosh, that was... <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! Though you start out with the ship and the Nomad, almost everything else you need, you'll have to find, steal, or craft yourself. Woo! Oh, crafting system! Oh my gosh, I'm gonna and spend that's hours to in your this survival. game. These worlds have many dangers, from environmental hazards to hostile wildlife. <gasps> oh no! No! He's nice! Oh no, he's not! He's not! It says fiend, not friend. <laughs> oh god! Oh my gosh! You lose! <laughs> Again. A new galaxy awaits. Spring 2017. How far will you go? Unlock exclusive equipment. Heck yeah. That was almost as exciting as seeing the Doom gameplay trailer when when they released that at E3 before Doom was released. So I think I need to amend what I said about five minutes ago, how I said I was casually observing the hype train. Now I'm I'm kind of hanging off of it. Like, you know how the, the, the people, the cool people in movies, they hang off of trains like this? I'm, I'm doing that right now. I'm like almost on it, but I'm still a little unsure about whether or not I want to get on there. So I'm feeling the hype train. That was so cool. <laughs> And it was really cool to see. So that was what? That looked like a, uh, a Lady Turian and a Krogan. I, I don't think it was a Lady T Krogan because there are very few Lady Krogans. And they would probably not send very many Lady Krogans on the, the Ark because of the, the, the problem. Genophage. That's what it was called because of the genophage. That was cool, and I hate they're obviously humans because we're assholes. Of course we're on there. But I don't, I didn't really see, let's see, I didn't see Drell, I didn't see Hanar, but it was a really limited trailer, of course. And also, I think all the Drell were dying, so <laughs> that's a problem. Uh, there probably wouldn't be Vorcha because Vorcha were also assholes. I didn't see any. 
No, wait, I did. I think I did see an Asari. So we have most of the the races, but I also saw somebody like a couple of races that I didn't recognize. So that's really exciting, and it does really. It, I don't know what engine they built that on, but it looks a lot like Dragon Age Three which is so exciting. Dragon Age 3 had a lot of really cool open worlds and it had a lot of like um, material gathering and exploration in order to find the things that you need in order to complete your quests. So that is really encouraging. Definitely looks like they slapped a Mass Effect skin onto uh, Dragon Age 3 and then they were like, hey, there we go, Mass Effect. Mass Effect Andromeda releases spring of 2017. I am just about on the hype train. The second I'm on the hype train, I'm, I'm pre-orderable. And if I'm about to pre-order something, then I think that I need to like kind of celebrate it because I almost never pre-order stuff. So my idea and the thing that I'd like comments from you guys and feedback from you guys on what you'd like, I think I will want to play through the trilogy again, the Mass Effect trilogy again, just to kind of get ready for Andromeda and kind of get in the Mass Effect mood. So I was wondering if you guys would like to be a part of that, and if you would, how would you like to be a part of that? There are a couple of options. I can either play through it episodically, kind of like what I've been what I was doing on my channel, where I had one video that was about 30 minutes long or a level, then that's you know, that's what you saw, and that was the whole thing. And I think specifically because it's Mass Effect and because it's a Bioware game that's like really story driven that I will not cut out plot so you guys will be able to see everything, you'll be able to see my reactions to everything and it'll be completely uncut. Or the other option is I could do it in a stream probably once a week and we could all gather on Twitch together or wherever and play it together on stream. My guess would be Saturdays and just play it for like several hours together and then I could upload highlights to the YouTube channel. So you guys let me know. I don't have a Twitch. I haven't really been streaming because I can't stream consistently. Like I, I have too much going on in my life really to dedicate myself to a stream, but I would be willing to do that for let's well we'll call it we'll call it my Christmas present to you guys. I'd be willing to stream the whole Mass Effect trilogy with you guys and uh, just upload highlights onto YouTube as well. Let me know what you guys want. If you guys don't care and I don't like get any comments or any feedback or anything like that about what you'd like, then I'll just play it for myself and we can continue with my channel being kind of a uh, conglomeration of weird stuff. If you guys really want a stream though, be prepared that it will definitely be inconsistent just because of you know, life things happening and coming up, and especially with the holidays, like, ugh, who knows? Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please smack that like button, leave me comments down below and tell me what you thought, and also your feelings about maybe doing a massive Mass Effect thingy. Please subscribe, I'd love to see you here again, and as always, I will see all of you wonderful people in the next video.